Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if you are new. I feel like I'm cutting. I feel like I'm stealing the um, intro to that girl on TikTok with that like does hair. She's like, hi guys, welcome if you are new. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome. Okay. So. <laughs> I can't talk and I haven't had coffee in like 10 days okay so sorry if this video lacks some energy um that's probably why because I haven't had coffee in 10 days welcome if you are new this is my channel so I hope you guys find some jeans that fit you like a glove and you don't have to get them tailored or anything I will link everything down below and I hope you enjoy this video I'm giving off very very halloween town um mom vibes right now i feel like with the jean jacket the hair i'm gonna insert a picture just so you guys know what i'm talking about maybe like mommy vibes but also like kind of wearing a bra so today we're doing a like my favorite denim try on haul I guess try on some stuff is new some stuff is older like I've had but it's still available for you guys to purchase so I'm gonna start with kind of like the newest and then go into stuff that I've had for like a year which is only like two pairs of pants but they're still available I will link everything down for you guys so let's first start off with Zara Zara is very popping right now they never really left but high key making like a big comeback now with their denim and it's amazing i'm literally obsessed very cool girl, very cool girl vibes very 90s 2000s still keeping it modern so i'm sure you guys have seen these on tiktok these are they freaking say I will find these for you guys, but I'm 95% sure these are the 90s cropped flare. Zipper, not a button fly. They are ripped and I've worn these quite a bit so they are a little bit more ripped than they were when I got them. You'll see in the try on. And I'm 5'4". Just for reference, all these jeans are more guided towards, is that the right word? Guided? more aided, more guided towards girls with a smaller waist and bigger hips, bigger butt, always have that gap in the back, which is really annoying. Like from the front, it looks like the jeans fit perfect. I do have a little hack for you guys. It's like a minor fix. Even if you're not curvy, if you're like more straight, if you're really skinny, curvy, I feel like all these jeans will still look great on anybody. You should just try them on. Given that I am 5'4", and these were the cropped version, they have a full version if you're taller than 5'4". I had to cut this, which is actually perfect though because the hem of these is already a raw hem, so it doesn't even look like I cut it. So I did cut it to my liking, and then just at this stitching right here, I just went ahead and stitched these up just a tiny bit. Like, I'm not a sewer. Like, you could literally, I'm not a sewer. Really just like, did a couple in one space just so like this didn't keep breaking down if that makes sense because i did cut it and now they fit amazing i have washed them about two to three times i think and they shrunk at the waist a little bit but nothing that it didn't like mold back out to the way it was if anything they fit better so in these i got a two I, it really depends on the jeans. I range from a zero to rarely am I a four or I am a 24, 25, rarely 26, just like for reference. I got a zero in these originally. I got them up, but the hip bone area was like ridiculously tight and the waist fit like perfectly, but like the butt and the hip bone area was just like unbreathable. So I sized up in these and they did fit pretty perfectly actually. And they are a little baggy, like they don't like hug my waist, but it's like kind of loose all around as you'll see, but it just looks like it's meant to be like that, if that makes sense. So love the wash of these, classic wash. 
I love the rips. Ripped pair, lighter wash. I would size up one from your regular size, if especially if you're curvier, have a smaller waist. And in these 90s full length, I would size down because they were actually a lot bigger. Here's my little hack. You can see I added a second button so they can be a little tighter. It still doesn't do it complete justice. Like I can only do it so much to the point where it doesn't look like weird, but they definitely fit a lot better and you have flexibility after you eat to unbutton one button. That's the only reason why I haven't taken it off, but you can take the original button off. I get these off Amazon. All you do, my boyfriend does it for me. It's pretty simple. Comes with this little back part and also this front part in different colors. So they have some that look like this, some that look darker. And you just poke this back end through. This goes on like a little cap and you just hammer it like twice in and it goes through. And you're welcome to take the other button off, but I get them off Amazon. I will link the ones that I get down below, but I think they do have some that are easier. This is just the sturdiest option and it doesn't come off when you wash it. So. That's what I did with these. These are similar in color, but no rips. And again, same little raw hem. They already came like this. That's why I was confident in cutting it and just sewed it. Super easy fix if you're short. And these were the cropped ones. So they were still really long on me for being 5'4". That is it from Zara. The rest, I think I just have single random pairs but let's go through. Um, I'm gonna keep the same flare style going on. I do have some straight cuts that I love. So for now, let's just stick to the cool girl flare vibe that's going on. Don't hate me for this. I too have mixed feelings about Brandy Melville. Super annoying that they don't have bigger sizes or like sizing. That whole like one size fits all is absolute bullshit, but for those of you who do like Brandy Melville, I did get these jeans there. And this actually is pretty cool. So they're like this cargo type of vibe. I don't know if cargo is a vibe or a color, but it has like this cool detailing, more tomboy, this little hook here. This is what they look like. It's more of like a dirty light wash and the one thing that I do really like about these, I think if you're maybe like a six, maybe possibly even eight, these would fit you as they come. But that thing that I really like about them is that it comes with this to stretch to your size and it fits your waist perfectly. So you are a little bit more flexible with these if you range from those sizes. That's the only pair of jeans from Brandy that I have to show, so if you are interested, these are great. And also these are a size small, so I'm assuming they might even have a medium. So if the small goes up to like a size six, then I'm assuming the medium could go up higher as well. And then you also have the flexibility of these little attachments that it comes with. So that's why I like these and they're perfect length. Didn't have to cut them, doesn't have a raw hem or anything. Let's now move on to straight cut with a little bit of flair. So I recently discovered Abercrombie and Fitch denim again. I know they were, Hollister and Abercrombie were like kind of put into a hole for a long time. Their jeans fit so well. I only have one pair currently because I've been so obsessed with like the Zara jeans and stuff. They're coming back. Their Curve Love denim line is amazing these are the ankle straight ultra high rise um size 25 i did the same button trick with these that just goes to show that you should size down for these but if you can try them on in store highly recommend it because you really you never know they fit amazing they're very stretchy so these i got a 25 i recommend sizing down in these because they do stretch out even more and they're very comfortable but still like tight enough to where it molds your body perfectly. Um, their Curve Love line is made for girls, smaller waist, bigger butt. This is what these look like. They're a little wrinkly from the wash, but ripped. The rips haven't gotten bigger because of the stretch. It's not just like denim. 
and it has a raw hem that I didn't cut. Well as the way they fit, they're a little bit at the ankle, so just that classic straight flared cut. Next are, okay, I'm not gonna try these on because they literally don't fit me anymore. Like, they're pretty freaking tight. I've had these for about two to three years. They still have them at Urban Outfitters. I want to get the same ones in a bigger size, but I don't know, cause I, I can squeeze them on, but I'm not like comfortable. If you guys wanna see what they look like on me, I wore them in my San Francisco vlog. So you can see there, I complained about how tight they are in there, but these are, these have been like my ride or dies for the longest time until they didn't fit me anymore. Um, thanks quarantine. BDG slim straight they just have a raw hem um straight i wouldn't even say flare but they're just straight cut not skinny jeans so flattering has a button fly and i got these in a size 24 so i would get well i was a size 24 so in these i would get your actual size it's nice and thick denim and I used to wear these all the freaking time until they didn't fit me anymore. Um, but I highly, highly recommend getting these. I think I'm definitely gonna just get another pair because fuck it. I just love them so much. They're perfect, perfect color, perfect length, and yeah. But I'm not gonna try these on because it's, it's a hassle, not very comfy. Since we're on the BDG Urban Outfitters, these actually are straight cut, not skinny jeans, but they're straight cut and they go a little bit past your ankle for me, being a size, I mean a 5'4 length. Being 5'4 in height, these are actually more pricey. They're the Toothpick High Rise. They retail for $100 for some reason, like a lot of their pants aren't that expensive but I got them from the sale section, so they were like 50. But they're the perfect straight cut length. I got them in a 25 toothpick high rise. These are very flattering and just like your perfect comfy straight cut jean. I had these for a while too, they still have them. These are, a lot of these look really similar, but um, these are by Garage. Um, they're the mom denim jeans and I got these in a double zero um, that just goes to show how different the place you know you get your jeans from can fit so differently and like the material and so on and so forth because I got these mm, maybe about a year later after I got the BDG straight cut ones and these still fit me really good I wore them in my Joshua Tree travel vlog, but I'll try them on for you guys again. This is them. Great wash. Super raw hem. But these are, okay, these used to actually be longer and a little bit more flared, which I've washed them many times. Like I've had these for almost two years um, and they have shrunk a little bit. Or, or maybe I'm just not the same size as I was back then. But I don't think I got taller and they did get shorter. I feel like if you buy these again, they'll probably be at your perfect ankle length if you're my height, uh, but they do feel a little bit tighter. Still super comfortable, love these. Garage denim mom jeans. Last but not least, the pricey, the pricey, the pricey. I got these on sale actually at a Nordstrom rack and I really wanted some, a goldie, a gold, however you say it, denim because they just look so freaking cute on everybody. These are not true to size. I would definitely size down in almost a lot of their items, like seriously size down like two, maybe even three sizes. Have tried on their like looser baggy cool girl denim and it is fucking huge. Like not true to size at all. So size down. That is why these are a 23. So nice stretchy denim, super comfortable, straight cut, flare roughly past the ankle it doesn't hit my shoe but their flare regular hem this nice like dark wash classic denim zipper fly these fit like a glove bought them when i was in san francisco at a nordstrom rack they fit your waist so perfectly they're seriously just like 
the perfect straight leg flare, not too flared, comfortable, high-waisted. All these pants are high-waisted, by the way. Highly recommend investing in these. So these usually retail for like 130, I think. And that's like cheap because a lot of their other stuff is like $230 sometimes. So I got them for, I think like 60 or $70. And they're like in perfect condition. They just happened to be at a Nordstrom rack. Oh my God, I wasn't recording. Forgot to mention these. This is so like unnatural now. Got these BDG size 24. I sized down one, highly recommend sizing down. These are the, these are the high rise baggy, size down. They will fit like a glove. Just have a little tiny bit of space back here, but that's me problem. They'll probably fit great once I wash them. Had to pause Olivia Rodrigo. They're a cream color, fit perfectly with tennis shoes on like Air Force Ones or anything like that coming from a size or a, I'm a, I'm a 5'4", so this is the length of these. Love them, super comfy, like super comfy, but like great quality. Really wanna get um, like a real denim color in these. You guys are probably like, yay, finally some like not denim. But yeah, these are like my first white pants. Oh my God, I forgot to show you my black pants. Oh, let me show you. These are the rib cage Levi's, size 25 with a button fly in black. Really annoying thing about these though. So I got the size 24 in the regular color. One of the washes, I don't remember which one. So tight, was able to get it up, but so tight, like unbearably tight, can't breathe in that. And so I'm like, okay, now I know I have to size up in these and these were on sale. So I got them in black because I don't have black jeans. Now they actually, wait, okay, yeah. I also did my little button trick to these because as you can see, they're a little bit big if I don't do it, but I think I washed them and they actually fit like almost perfect with the button now, but I don't know. They were really big. They stretch out a lot once you start wearing them. So I don't know if maybe the color, the material changes based off of, you know, the color you get. Cause the other ones were so tight and I feel like I could have sized down in these, but highly recommend. I'm not gonna tell you to size up or down cause I, I don't even know for myself, but try these on if you can or get them and exchange them. Really great pair of straight cut. Yeah, okay, now I actually don't have any more pants to show you guys, but thank you for watching. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the try-on. I am going to Chicago for my birthday, so I hope this video holds you over until I post my prepping video. I will 100% vlog while I'm there and maybe have one to two vlogs depending on how long the content is. When I come back, I have a really big haul for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and can find some amazing pants. Stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe.